Kevin, look, a lot's been happening the last few days. Uh, you've got all the details on this, uh, mainly on X or Twitter, um, regarding one Tony Khan. Uh, following this AW NXT Tuesday night <laughs> collision of brands, pal, they went head to head, and uh, AW did not come out on top. Um, I'll pass to you. How you doing, pal? Pal, I'm doing lovely. Uh, yeah. So mainly, what here, what we're gonna talk about is this: one Tony Khan got obliterated in the ratings war on Tuesday night. It was over 300,000 more viewers watched NXT. It was nearly a million. It was like 972, I want to say, was the, the official number. I'm not really too interested in that. I don't care too much about ratings. AEW did like 620,000. That, that was their average viewership for Adam Copeland. The Cope, his big debut, um, further just proves the dialect and the, that Edge is not a draw. He's just not at this stage in the game. Nothing against him. We love Edge, but he's just not a draw. It is what it is. He was a, what, a third, fourth guy at best in WWE. He was never the number one or two. That was Cena, Batista, Undertaker. Guys like that were always above him in the pecking order. And then he retired early. So, he, yeah, he's an all-time great, but he's just not at that level, that next tier, in terms of star power at the moment. Um, really, the big takeaway here is Tony Khan. The way he's been having a meltdown on Twitter over the past 24 hours. It's still going. It started last night. And it's still going. So last night is Wednesday. I want to say like Wednesday afternoon. Probably around like 3, 4 o'clock my time. Eastern time Wednesday. He still yep. went on this Twitter tirade. Replying to people. I guess he's doing coke and drinking at 4 in the afternoon. That's not too great. Uh, you don't want to see that from a guy that's running a, a billion dollar organization. Or a multi, multi million dollar organization. They're not a billion dollar organization not a great thing you want to see so yeah uh first of all your overall thoughts on nxt obliterating AEW in the ratings pal look this time yesterday i saw the numbers and i can't say i was surprised i mean i, I watched both as of you and i was thinking to myself this nxt show across the board is just better it just is it's more entertaining there's more star power on it it's more interesting they're presenting talents better the AEW show i mean the talent was there but it's just there's, there's, I don't know. There's something off about AEW right now. I think that they're soulless in a way because a few years ago it was that we're anti WWE. Haha, <laughs> we're not Vince McMahon. Watch us. But now it's like Triple H, Sean, Nick Khan, Ari Emanuel, everyone. They're doing what they do so well. AEW is just out in the dark. And Adam Copeland's main eventing pal, as you doubled down with in your, or our late take, which came out yesterday at this stage. You were bang on. I mean, the numbers prove it. That that main event did not do a great rating at all. Barely 600,000. Really? Yeah, the highest rated part was Christian's promo. Sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. Good. No. That's, that's pretty poor. For the guy you're paying who knows how many millions of dollars to be a full-time main star of your show, Adam Copeland, that, that's worrying. Uh, but nonetheless, Kevin, I want to pass you the extent of this Tony Khan meltdown because you told me about this. I haven't seen any tweets. And you know, I'm not saying that to be like, oh, Tell me, I, I already know them, but let me know. No, I don't know what Tony Khan said here. You've got them pulled up. W what's going on? So here's the best one. This one was tweeted three hours ago from the time that we're recording this. So about 1230, about lunchtime for me. Tony Khan tweets, this week, two active decades long rating streaks from two great legends were ended. With all due respect, until this week's head to head AEW on TBS versus WWE on USA. And this is Tony Khan's official Twitter account. Neither John Cena nor The Undertaker had ever been on a WWE show with under 1 million viewers plus under 400k in the key demo. What? A Tony Khan tweeted that? Yeah. That sounds like something someone would tweet who's like 17 with 24 followers and no profile picture to try and be like, ha ha ha. Are you kidding me? Kevin... I mean, that's just one. You'll get them all as you've got them all pulled up. But I have to imagine if I'm an AW talent, I'm a, some 32-year-old, this is my job, you show up to work, you wrestle, you're a bit dissatisfied with how you're being pushed, and you see your boss spending like an hour and a half just sitting on Twitter doing stuff like this. I mean, how that make you feel? But anyway, carry on. Uh, right. So I just want to talk about some replies to this tweet. So mm -hmm. super best friend responded to Tony Khan and said, when was the last time Edge was on a show with such low ratings? <laughs> um, and then WrestleOps, 
I think Russellov speaks for all of us here when he says, the way I had to triple check if this was realist added again. But realist is a guy that does parody tweets, try to yeah. trick people. Um, so that's funny. And then Pal uh, at three sixteen reigns said, "This is just sad and embarrassing, Tony. You're forty one years old, <laughs> and that has uh, five thousand four hundred twenty two likes, eighty seven thousand impressions. Uh, for context, Tony Khan's tweet has two point six million impressions and seven thousand nine hundred fifty nine likes. So wow, there you go. All right, let's get to the rest of this. Um, wow, well that's so- already wow, that's already a lot. While you pull that up, wow." Yeah. So, so Tony Khan's approach to getting embarrassed by over 300,000 viewers in this head-to-head, which he put all this stock into, saying is the biggest dynamite in forever. His, his approach is, ah, uh, Cena and Undertaker didn't draw a million. Bro, this, is, this is like the, the, the privileged 14-year-old kid at school who's just so out of touch with reality. That, that's, this, that's this guy. That's Tony Khan. Anyway, carry on. Carry on. Yeah, you love it. Uh, so Rebel Kelly... 1982 this is the uh the person on x this person is following 1183 people has 322 followers okay. they tweeted a uh, photoshopped graphic of brian alvarez tweeting nxt 1.4 million aew 650,000. and tony Khan replies to that and said i must have missed it when brian tweeted that take his phone someone take his phone just stop stop this man honestly like <laughs> kevin this guy runs the company kevin kevin this guy pays the wrestlers this one sits down in board meetings with sponsors i'm speechless at that one uh so then uh let's see <laughs> at the neoism uh don't, not sure who this is a uh, person with 1,379 followers, um, they say the difference is that Vince has the power and influence to take cheap shots. He's earned the right to make them. Tony Khan is Vince if you order him from Timu. You can, quote, shop like a billionaire, but you'll get the <laughs> cheapest tat doing so. <laughs> and, uh, and Tony Khan quote tweets that and says, Oh, no. Yes, Vince has allegedly used his power and influence to shoot a lot of shots. And this, again, this is coming from Tony Khan's official account. I had to double check this too. I was like, there's no way. This is like, this has to be a burner. No, this is, this is Tony Khan. This is the legitimate verified account of Tony Khan. Yeah. Tape this man, man child person off Twitter. Stop, Kevin. He's digging his own grave. What is this? What what is going on? I mean, we were talking about this then JF a bit, and he's he's like a talent sample. This is the guy who runs the company. This is the the billionaire, yeah, multi billionaire owner. Oh my god, that's um, so bad. Keep going. There's more. Surely there's not more. That, that, you've read like that's that's bad enough. Surely there's, there's more. not more. There's more. Definitely. Of course, there's more. So oh he god. says here. This was after. Uh, I guess. This was after the show sometime in the morning after uh, Tuesday. So the morning after the big Tuesday night dynamite. He says, thank you all who watch AEW on TV. On any other Wednesday, AEW Dynamite would be on TBS right now. Thanks to you AEW wrestlers plus staff. We've come so far from a startup in a parking lot. We all teamed up to put on a great show last night. I hope that we always keep our challenger spirit. Um... Well, that's not too bad but then you have dan here at dan still cool uh this is a gentleman with 436 followers a uh, looks like a football player an american football player as his profile picture it says enjoy this ratio comma tony <laughs> tony khan replies i will enjoy this ratio comma dan period thank you what yeah that Kevin, I'd expect that from quite literally some 13-year-old who's had the app for two weeks. This is Tony Khan. Tony Khan is ratioing people on Twitter. Um, Actually, I lied. This one might be the highlight of of everything. Oh, God. I don't want to hear this. Yeah, Yeah, I I think this was probably the highlight. This one came out at 2 o'clock yesterday. Um, okay, so, let's see. 
Let me make sure I got the whole context here. Um. Kevin, I mean, while you put, I just, I'm going to emphasize this one more time because everyone listening to this is probably thinking the same thing, at least I hope, that once again, if this was WWE, could you imagine, Kevin, when the narrative wasn't with the WWE for about three to four years, where they couldn't do anything right, they were the jail, they were evil, and AW could do no wrong, that, that, that was just, that was all well and good on these platforms, but then all of a sudden, Kevin, last year, it's stuff like this. Okay, you're smiling. What's happened? What have you uh, said? This is brutal. All saying? right, so we get a tweet. Somebody's like re tweets a review of NXT from CageMatch.net, and then they're like, "Oh, they're making." They're like basically they're implying that they're faking reviews, and then Tony's like, "Oh, it's kind of weird that you know these people are giving Dynamite bad reviews." But they're not giving NXT good review, or they're giving NXT good reviews. That's basically what he's saying without saying it. That's not the bad part. Then oh, somebody no. replies to him a Photoshop picture of Shawn Michaels smoking a cigar, <laughs> uh, holding the Wrestling Observer newsletter Booker of the Year plaque. Uh, so yeah, this, again, this is a picture of Shawn Michaels smoking a cigar, holding the Booker of the Year plaque. It's being replied oh, no. to Tony Khan. Oh, Tony no. Khan says, quote, I'm actually pretty sure that last night blew whatever chance he had at winning that award. What, what 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 part of the Juice Robinson MJF quarters segment three days after? I'm not. I'm not we're not even gonna go there. We're not even gonna go there. Ending the show with Adam Copeland, Daniel Bryan, and Christian in the year 2023. Like, okay, I guess. Sure. A bunch of matches that didn't really do anything for anyone besides the opener. I guess that power that just blew, that blew that NXT with Cena, Undertaker. Breaker versus Mellow, everything. I don't know. I don't know, Kevin. I don't know. Maybe he's so delusional. I, I don't even know what to say. Yeah. I don't even know what to say. One more, pal. Last one. Yeah. Oh, God, there's more. So this one was right after the Tuesday Night Dynamite. And he's like, thank yeah. you all for watching Dynamite, whatever. Uh, somebody replies, we were watching NXT, big dog. Uh, this was Andrew with 554 followers. Replies, we were watching NXT, big dog. And Tony Khan says, then I wasn't talking to you, and you don't even follow me, so why reply? And then he tweets a gif of Roddy Strong and saying, who gives a F? And, uh, okay, so let me recap this, uh, the resume of this guy, Tony Khan. This guy is a multi-billionaire. He is the owner and founder of All Elite Wrestling. He is a high-ranking executive with the Fulham Football Club. <laughs> and a high-ranking executive with the NFL's Jacksonville Jaguars. This guy is responsible for brokering deals with the NFL to get the Jaguars <laughs> to play in London, England, multiple times a year. The Jaguars played two back-to-back -back games in London, England. And this is this is the NFL, not not foot not football. The football is native to England. He's bringing the NFL to London, pal. Right. And here he is tweeting. A gif of Roddy Strong saying, "Who gives a f?" Um, yeah, uh, this guy he just he loves his toys, pal. Well, it's funny you mentioned that, Kevin, because I've I've got some like I, I was thinking about this, and I I found in my own cupboard, pal. I, I can I can call myself Tony Khan because I've got action figures, pal. So remember when he signed this guy, Paul White, Big Show? Have you seen him in a while? Have you heard from him? I I don't know, but yeah, you got this guy. How about this one? How about Pepsi Phil, pal? That's Wolverine. You Jackman, pal. Oh, can can you manage a target? Can you manage a target? How about you? How about you? Oh, what? What fight with cause? What? Okay. WWE, WWE, please, please. Oh, you're not going to sign me. Oh, okay. And then I've got other ones, pal. I've got the three key figures. Kevin, these three men are keeping Tony Khan awake at night. Tony Khan, he can't go to sleep. He's, he's petrified. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. He closed his eyes. All he says is this man, <laughs> Tony, AW. So you got this bloke. That piss and company, pal. Two. Pal, then you got these two, who single-handedly, <laughs> double-handedly, the mean mark, and you got John Felix Anthony Cena, pal. These two cooks on Tuesday night 
They took down Tony Khan by 300 plus thousand viewers. Meanwhile, Tony Khan's got his old ex WWE legends. This is what happens to these legends after they're in AEW. Look at this. That's Kurt Angle. I mean, yes, Angle himself hasn't been in AEW. Look at this. That impact that Angle. Leg. Pal, that's Perk Angle, pal. That's Wrestling Gift's favorite wrestler. Nonetheless, Kevin, Tony is busy. Maybe not, I won't use the Punk action figure for this because Punk's fired with cause. But, like, Tony Khan's just doing this, playing with toys. Oh, I'm bored of these toys. Let me get a new toy. That's what he's doing. He's like, oh, no, that toy's boring. He's getting a new one. And then, oh, I'm bored of Big Show. And then he does this. Oh, wait, no, it's, it's, it's Phil, pal. No, it's not Phil. Oh, I'm up. That's how he pushes wrestlers. That is this guy. <laughs> and Kevin, you said before, he's a 41 year old and you've listed these like high leverage, high status positions, brokering big business deals, sitting down with executives in boardrooms, brokering deals through NFL teams, the English Premier League, the, like, the biggest football league or one of them in the world. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. I, I don't know. I, I think that speaks for itself. It just does. It's an embarrassment. And just remember, Tony, if you're watching this, because I know you watch everything on you, this guy owns you rent-free. Paul Levesque, pal. He's cooking. Yeah. There I'll close go. with this. Yep. It's a horrible look for AEW. It's a horrible, horrible look to have their owner just going on Twitter acting like a 12-year-old. Like he's, It's like he's on a drunken rant at 4 in the afternoon. Um not a great look if i was like a super diehard aew fan i, I would be kind of concerned you know to see uh someone that is such an important figure in my fandom of wrestling acting like that it's not normal behavior I, like he he doesn't conduct himself like an executive he conducts himself like a wrestling fan and he can kind of get away with that because his dad is really the owner of aew his dad funded it so he can kind of do what he wants. You know, he doesn't really yeah. have to take accountability for his actions. Like, you know, you look at, like, Triple H, for example. Triple H can't act like this on Twitter because, you know, he's the only guy. He's the sole proprietor in, in terms of, like, running WWE from a content perspective and a day-to-day -day operations perspective. You know, Nick Khan's not out there writing shows and telling people what to do. Nick Khan is working the business side, brokering TV deals and sponsorship deals. So Triple H is out here acting like a fool on Twitter. He's got to answer to the people that are the, like the stockholders. Yeah. You know, like he's got to look out for himself. Tony can hide behind his dad. When, you know, when his dad is out there brokering deals with Warner Brothers to get uh, AEW on streaming, he can cover for his son when his son's acting like a 12 year old on Twitter. And one last thing, just I've seen this. Per Brian Alvarez, the thought within AEW is, I mean, as we're alluding to, as is common sense, they just want Tony Khan to put the phone away and step away from social media, as you'd expect. Th this is embarrassing. So that that's, yeah, it's I think sad. we covered that to death. We'll see, does Tony put the phone down? By the time we, we post this in like a day or so, is there even more content? You know, are we going to have to do a whole show in a week and a half, breaking more of this stuff down? I don't want to have to keep doing these action figure bits. I'll happily keep doing it, but like, it's sad. Like this is, you know, this it's is sad. a 41 year old. Yeah. This is the owner of the company. So there you go, pal. All right, pal. This has been a little special edition bonus video. We'll talk to you guys on the next one. Peace.